What's up everybody, Daxon here. <clears throat> this will be a short and sweet video. Um, just using T2 laser, which in my opinion is absolutely the best laser engraving <clears throat> or cutting software there is. Uh, the, the developer of the software is extremely responsive. Um, it is called, again, T2 laser, and the, the guy that made it, his name is Zax, I believe you pronounce it, Z-A-X. Yeah, Z -A -X. He is absolutely amazing, answers me, you know, on a daily basis always has you know good knowledge and knows everything about this obviously you know since he built it um but in this i'm using um this would be dithered is kind of what i did and at the end of this video i'm going to show you actually no i can go ahead and open it up here open up the picture of this is what it looked like after i got it laser engraved and i really think it turned out pretty dang good and the picture of this picture doesn't really do it justice. It looks way better in real life. Um, but you still see the wood grain. I think it gives it an awesome look. This took about two hours. I just kind of want to run over the settings of how I'd done this. And I'll tell you one of the main problems I faced when you try to do uh, dithered or grayscale, either one, is you have to make sure that your laser is extremely pinpoint focused. If you're just a little bit off, I noticed you're not going to get a good image come out, if at all. It'll just be, you know, black burn. You won't even be able to tell what it is. So you have to make sure your laser is focused really, really good, as good as you can get it. My speed I've done this image at, which you can probably adjust this a little bit, but I run it here at 750. <clears throat> and I leave the minimum laser power at zero, maximum at 255. That worked fine. <clears throat> I put this at 0 0.2, which you can go to 0 0.1. I believe it would, it would probably take, yeah, twice the time, but the detail is going to be really twice as good. And then last but not least, this is just your size. The size I done was 150 by 78 for this little, it's on a five by seven piece of wood I got at Walmart. Um, just a little thin piece of wood, especially experimenting. I don't want to use any more, you know, expensive wood. I want to, you know, start cheap to test it out. But anyway, that's my settings. And then also, I know if you change some of these, um, for me it was like automatically going back to this or move over here or something. I'm not sure why. It's probably just some type of glitch or maybe something I did wrong. But after you change these settings and get them how you want, I had to come back and make sure to click dithered again so it looks like this. And then go to control the laser, generate G-code. You'll see it loading down here. And uh, also something else really cool about T2 laser is you can go to view here once you get your g-code loaded up and this will show you this allows you to run a simulation of what your engraving is going to do how it's going to work um, you have let's see if I can remember you push s on your keyboard and you can see it there it's engraving you can see it going it's making a bunch of dots really it's almost like an eye illusion it's making a bunch of uh, dots to turn it into the picture. And you push Q on the keyboard to change your speed. See, there's one, two, three, four, and then S again will stop it or complete it. But that's how you work that. That's pretty cool. That's really it for this video. And then, of course, let me get out of this. Um, of course, when you're ready to go and you get it all squared up and everything, you push this little envelope. Normally, first, though, you'll go to mach Machine and then Trace Frame. Uh, make sure you have your laser, depending on how you have it set up, like mine, I always have my laser where I want it in the middle of the object. Put machine, trace frame, and it's going to outline kind of where your engraving is going to be under wood or leather or whatever you're engraving. When you're ready to go, then you can send the G-code by clicking this envelope. You can move everything right here. Uh, but that's it for this video, just kind of going over my settings for dithered and how I got it to work. And uh, oh, and also one more thing be important, I guess, really, this video for my settings is my laser is a Elix Maker, Elks Maker, however you want to say it. It's one of the blue lasers. The beam's blue and the housing of the laser is blue. I'm not sure if that really matters or not. But it is 2500 MW, which would be what 2.5 watts, I believe. Um, but that's it for this video. Please like, share, subscribe, comment if you have any questions or suggestions. Um, don't forget to check out this software. Um, it's actually extremely affordable, and I don't know what I would have done without it. Like, everything else, in my opinion, pretty much is junk. This is, this is as good as it gets right here, guys. Once again, it is T2 Laser Controller Software. Thanks for watching. See you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.